Ken and Men's Body Image, coming up next. I'm going to look at the three different sizes of Ken's that are now available in stores. I don't really know how I feel about this, but I think it might be okay. I think what they did with the boys seems healthier to me. We don't have a tall boy. They gave us a slim and a broad and the original size. I thought for the first three, I would look at the ones that they featured on the cover of the Can Fashionista boxes. These are the other three in the series. There is also one other broad guy with glasses. He's just a little harder to come by, but not really. In Canada, not around yet. Check out Mattel, because you can get a discount if you buy them in bulk and you buy sets of three or two. I definitely recommend shopping at Mattel.com or Barbie.com or FisherPrice.com. They did just get a new website and they are having some issues, but things do eventually work out. All right, so inside the box, the Slim Ken number 11 looks like this. I don't know what his name is at the moment, but it will definitely be in the title description of this video. And this guy is called something camo. I do know that. And he is the broad character. And this is the original body. And he is pretty cool. This head sculpt is, I think, probably one of my favorite head sculpts yet. They took it from Barbie Dolphin Magic Ken, and I am looking forward to cracking into this Ken as well. I think this should be a beach or pool review though, don't you? All right, let's crack these guys open and get a closer look at them. Do you think they should name them? Do you think they should give them proper names? Interesting, two different styles of boxes. This one just had a bubble on it. This one has tabs. We're opening eight. 10, and 11, and my other ones are 7, 9, and 13. I take it 12 is the guy with the glasses. They have no staples in the back of their heads. That is definitely a plus. Choosing eyes. That was kind of a problem for me. A lot of the eyes were wonky on these. The girls, not so much. I had some problems finding some good guys. Let's look at this camo guy. First thing I notice is that it's like he's wearing a shirt for an original character because it's really tight on him. It was like gaping open and it is really hard to push closed. Now it doesn't velcro at the bottom here so it does gape, but he can move his arms. Oh well, he moves his arms, his shirt can come undone. I've seen a lot of reviews on these and I never seen anybody notice that. I don't know if it's just my shirt that's tight. They have very modern hairdos. Well, I don't know about the cornrows. I don't know how modern of a hairstyle that is, but it still looks good. It's a classic, right? He's got a great face. They all have great faces. Very interesting face here. And this guy who you don't get to see his eyes when you choose him. Actually, I said that I got these from Mattel, but I actually canceled some of my orders. I got the Slim Guys from Mattel. All of the other ones I ended up getting from Walmart. Yeah, that's a really good head sculpt. I forget that these are ball joints. Yeah, you get more articulation than I would even think. Like, I think you get standard soldier action features. Now, the quality of a Barbie doll is definitely higher than you're going to get from some other doll from the toy store. Some people do prefer more articulation, but for a child and play, or even for display purposes like I would want, I am totally fine with this stance. I actually like the modely stance that they have given some of the cans. I know that it's not a favorite with some people. You might see how I play with them in skits at the beginning or the front of my videos where I move them around like that. That is really all of the movement a child or someone like me needs for play. I know some people like to like stand behind and move and pick up hats and that's just not how a child is going to play. Kind of got off track there. Let's go back to number eight. Love the white shoes. I'm a big fan of camo, so I like the shorts a lot. Now, 
Ken shorts usually go up quite far, and they do, but they look pretty good for dad shorts. This is pretty much a dad body, which I kind of resent that, because I'm dad age. I'm dad age. I don't like this shirt. I don't like how it fits, first of all. I would never wear this shirt. A long sleeve t-shirt is not something that, I mean, maybe it's supposed to be a sweatshirt. Very loose arm. I do like that the bodies aren't too... I like that they don't glorify obesity or anything like that. He does look pretty healthy. But yeah, I'm used to Ken's having tiny little underwear, and he's got quite a substantial pair on. It has a belt. They don't usually put belts on underwear nowadays. Let's look at this guy. I think he has classic in his name, and this is an outfit that I do like. I'm a big fan of gray denim like this. I would totally wear those. The shoes are a bit too trendy for me, but they're cool and silver. I don't mind wearing a skinny tie and a short sleeve button down. And like I said, he has a great face. And I like the hair. I don't mind molded hair on a boy doll. In fact, I think I prefer it because short hair does not really work in doll form. It just doesn't fall straight. It's just going to be big and crazy. It might work for that one Disney Descendants character who just has crazy hair anyway. And that's his shirt. Of course, it doesn't open at the front. I don't know why. They could very well do that. And his jeans come up of this high. They're quite loose. You can pull them down a bit, though. They're a very thin denim. I get a better look at that shoe. Lots and lots of studs, especially on the back. The Ken label back there. A nice dark complexion. He looks physically great. Lastly, we'll look at the thin guy. He is significantly smaller. You know, in the package I thought it didn't look as significant as I thought, but now that I have him in hand, he does look smaller. It looks like they've got the same size feet. That's great because I really like these chucks he's got on. And he's got some acidy washed jeans, which I think he can probably share his clothes with Barbie better than another Ken. And then he's got a tank top on. And he does come with sunglasses and they're totally vac metal. But look at that sparkle. That looks amazing. They can fit on any of your dolls because he does have a standard head. Here's his tank top with many different panels and colors on it. Uh, the pocket is actually functional. Yeah, you could put something tiny in there if you wanted to. That's really cool. Again, I really love these sneakers. I guess white shoes might be in, or they were in at the time that they made these. Around the time that the man bun was in, because the man bun, it's not in anymore. I had to lose the man bun quite a while ago. All right, let's look at these body differences. Start with the feet, all the same size. That's super convenient. It is a shame that they didn't make a tall one, but he already is tall and barely fits into the box. So I guess that was the reasoning behind that. You can definitely see a difference between the calves. There's a difference all the way around. I like that these three are three different skin tones too, big and small. The legs have very little definition in them. It's very obvious. I do think that this is the doll that they should make. This is a good physique, and I think that this is healthy and attainable. Definitely a good role model, an example for people to see what a guy can look like if he basically just eats properly. I think I've decided to cut out meat, finally. I'm a big carnivore. So it's kind of strange that I've done this, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to call myself vegan, even though that would be my diet. In certain circumstances, I would eat meat, and there are living things on plants that we ingest. And to say that one species or one animal has greater significance and is more important is not a statement that I am willing to make. So that is my standpoint on veganism. These guys do look pretty good. There might be a little pudge at the belly button, actually. And this guy is just thin. All of my life, this is how I felt. This is how I probably really look. This is what I want to strive for. I really like what they've done with the Ken body. 
I'm happy that this is the time that this is what the Ken's body looks like. It has been bigger, it has been smaller. I probably am going to head swap all of these. I'll get back to you on that. I don't need the articulation, that's not why I'm going to head swap. I love diversity, but I don't know. I, th I, I don't know why I want to do it. Just maybe because it's a body image that I can relate to better. Nonetheless, never mind what I'm going to do. I still think that all three bodies look pretty darn good. I think I'm more impressed with what they did with the boy bodies than what they did with the girl bodies, in fact. Let me just do a quick one of putting the big guy's shirt on the little guy and the little guy's shirt on the big guy. Yeah, so swapping clothes on these might be easier than we think. Just like in real life, sizes aren't that far in between and our bodies aren't that much different. There's going to be possibilities where it works. Like the fashion packs that they have made for the girl dolls, there are ones that fit all of the girls. The right stretchy fabric is going to fit everyone. I have discovered that I definitely prefer elastic waistbands on my doll toys. Wait, I better take my shirt off. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. It's like I'm every... I'm every man, it's all I need. Anything you want them, baby, I do it naturally. Oh, oh, chica. Can I make my head the same size? No, not really. Sorry, I have to do this. I, I love doing this with the accessories. There we go. How do those look on me? I look like a cop. Yeah. I love doing that. So good.